A chiral phenomenon is one that is not identical to its mirror image see the article on mathematical chirality. The spin of a particle may be used to define a handedness, or helicity, for that particle, which, in the case of a massless particle, is the same as chirality. A symmetry transformation between the two is called parity transformation. Invariance under parity transformation by a Dirac fermion is called chiral symmetry. An experiment on the weak decay of cobalt-60 nuclei carried out by Qian Xiong Wu and collaborators in 1957 demonstrated that parity is not a symmetry of the universe. <laughs> Chirality and helicity The helicity of a particle is right-handed if the direction of its spin is the same as the direction of its motion. It is left-handed if the directions of spin and motion are opposite. So a standard clock, with its spin vector defined by the rotation of its hands, tossed with its face directed forwards, has left-handed helicity. Mathematically, helicity is the sign of the projection of the spin vector onto the momentum vector, left is negative, right is positive. The chirality of a particle is more abstract, it is determined by whether the particle transforms in a right or left-handed representation of the Poincaré group. For massless particles, photons, gluons, and hypothetical gravitons, chirality is the same as helicity. A given massless particle appears to spin in the same direction along its axis of motion regardless of point of view of the observer. For massive particles, such as electrons, quarks, and neutrinos, chirality and helicity must be distinguished. In the case of these particles, it is possible for an observer to change to a reference frame moving faster than the spinning particle, in which case the particle will then appear to move backwards, and its helicity, which may be thought of as apparent chirality, will be reversed. A massless particle moves with the speed of light, so no real observer who must always travel at less than the speed of light can be in any reference frame where the particle appears to reverse its relative direction of spin, meaning that all real observers see the same helicity. Because of this, the direction of spin of massless particles is not affected by a change of viewpoint Lorentz boost in the direction of motion of the particle, and the sign of the projection helicity is fixed for all reference frames. The helicity of massless particles is a relativistic invariant, a quantity whose value is the same in all inertial reference frames, which always matches the massless particle's chirality. The discovery of neutrino oscillation implies that neutrinos have mass, so the only observed massless particle is the photon. The gluon is also expected to be massless, although the assumption that it is has not been conclusively tested. Hence, these are the only two particles now known for which helicity could be identical to chirality, and only one of them has been confirmed by measurement. All other observed particles have mass and thus may have different helicities in different reference frames. It is still possible that as yet unobserved particles, like the graviton, might be massless, and hence have invariant helicity that matches their chirality, like the photon. Chiral theories Only left-handed fermions and right-handed antifermions interact with the weak interaction. In most circumstances, two left-handed fermions interact more strongly than right-handed or opposite-handed fermions, implying that the universe has a preference for left-handed chirality, which violates a symmetry of the other forces of nature. Chirality for a Dirac fermion psi is defined through the operator γ5, which has eigenvalues plus or minus 1. Any Dirac field can thus be projected into its left or right-handed component by acting with the projection operators 1 half 1 minus γ5 or 1 half 1 plus γ5 on psi. The coupling of the charged weak interaction to fermions is proportional to the first projection operator, which is responsible for this interaction's parity symmetry violation. A common source of confusion is due to conflating this operator with the helicity operator. Since the helicity of massive particles is frame-dependent, it might seem that the same particle would interact with the weak force according to one frame of reference, but not another. The resolution to this false paradox is that the chirality operator is equivalent to helicity for massless fields only, for which helicity is not frame-dependent. By contrast, for massive particles, chirality is not the same as helicity, so there is no frame dependence of the weak interaction. A particle that couples the weak force in one frame, does so in every frame. A theory that is asymmetric with respect to chiralities is called a chiral theory, while a non-chiral theory is sometimes called a vector theory. 
Many pieces of the standard model of physics are non-chiral, which is traceable to anomaly cancellation in chiral theories. Quantum chromodynamics is an example of a vector theory, since both chiralities of all quarks appear in the theory, and couple to gluons in the same way. The electroweak theory, developed in the mid-20th century, is an example of a chiral theory. Originally, it assumed that neutrinos were massless, and only assumed the existence of left-handed neutrinos along with their complementary right-handed antineutrinos. After the observation of neutrino oscillations, which imply that neutrinos are massive like all other fermions, the revised theories of the electroweak interaction now include both right- and left-handed neutrinos. However, it is still a chiral theory, as it does not respect parity symmetry. The exact nature of the neutrino is still unsettled and so the electroweak theories that have been proposed are somewhat different, but most accommodate the chirality of neutrinos in the same way as was already done for all other fermions. <laughs> Chiral symmetry Vector gauge theories with massless Dirac fermion fields psi exhibit chiral symmetry, i.e., rotating the left-handed and the right-handed components independently makes no difference to the theory. We can write this as the action of rotation on the fields psi L E I theta L psi L Display style psi underscore l right arrow e caret i theta underscore l psi underscore l and psi r psi r display style psi underscore r right arrow psi underscore r or psi l psi l display style psi underscore l right arrow psi underscore l and psi r e i theta r psi r display style psi underscore r right arrow e caret i theta underscore r psi underscore r with n flavors we have unitary rotations instead u n l times u n r more generally, we write the right-handed and left-handed states as a projection operator acting on a spinner. The right-handed and left-handed projection operators are P R equals 1 plus gamma 5 2 display style P underscore R equals frac 1 plus gamma caret 5 2 and P L equals one minus gamma five two display style p underscore l equals frac one gamma caret five two massive fermions do not exhibit chiral symmetry as the mass term in the Lagrangian m psp's breaks chiral symmetry explicitly. Spontaneous chiral symmetry breaking may also occur in some theories, as it most notably does in quantum chromodynamics. The chiral symmetry transformation can be divided into a component that treats the left-handed and the right-handed parts equally, known as vector symmetry, and a component that actually treats them differently, known as axial symmetry. Cf. Current algebra, a scalar field model encoding chiral symmetry and its breaking is the chiral model. The most common application is expressed as equal treatment of clockwise and counterclockwise rotations from a fixed frame of reference. The general principle is often referred to by the name chiral symmetry. The rule is absolutely valid in the classical mechanics of Newton and Einstein, but results from quantum mechanical experiments show a difference in the behavior of left chiral versus right chiral subatomic particles. Example, U and D quarks in QCD Consider quantum chromodynamics QCD with two massless quarks U and D massive fermions do not exhibit chiral symmetry. The Lagrangian reads L equals U I D U plus D I D D plus L 
G L U O N S display style math call l equals overline u i display style not d u plus overline d i display style not d d plus math call l underscore mathrm gluons tilde in terms of left-handed and right-handed spinors it reads l equals u l i d u l plus u r i d u r plus d l i d d l plus d r i d d r plus L G L U O N S Display style math call L equals overline U underscore L I display style not D U underscore L plus overline U underscore R I display style not D U underscore R plus overline D underscore L I display style not D D underscore L plus overline D underscore R I display style not D D underscore R plus math call L underscore mathem gluons tilde here i is the imaginary unit and d display style display style not d the dirac operator defining q equals u d display style q equals begin b matrix u d end b matrix it can be written as l equals q l I D Q L plus Q R I D Q R plus L G L U O N S Display style math call L equals overline Q underscore L I display style not D Q underscore L plus overline Q underscore R I display style not D Q underscore R plus math call L underscore mathem gluons tilde The Lagrangian is unchanged under a rotation of QL by any two times two unitary matrix L, and QR by any two times two unitary matrix R. This symmetry of the Lagrangian is called flavor chiral symmetry, and denoted as U two L times U two R. It decomposes into S U two L times S U two R times U one V times U one a display style su two underscore l times su two underscore r times u one underscore v times u one underscore a tilde. The singlet vector symmetry u one v acts as q l e i theta q l q r e I theta q r display style q underscore l right arrow e caret i theta q underscore l q quad q underscore r right arrow e caret i theta q underscore r tilde and corresponds to baryon number conservation. The singlet axial group U one acts as q l e i theta q l q r e minus i theta q r 
Display style q underscore l right arrow e caret i theta q underscore l q quad q underscore r right arrow e caret i theta q underscore r tilde, and it does not correspond to a conserved quantity because it is explicitly violated by a quantum anomaly. The remaining chiral symmetry su two l times su two r turns out to be spontaneously broken by a quark condensate q r a Q L B equals V delta A B display style text style Langle bar Q underscore R carrot A Q underscore L carrot B wrangle equals V delta carrot ab formed through non perturbative action of QCD gluons into the diagonal vector subgroup SU two V known as isospin. The Goldstone bosons corresponding to the three broken generators are the three pions. As a consequence, the effective theory of QCD bound states like the baryons must now include mass terms for them, ostensibly disallowed by unbroken chiral symmetry. Thus, this chiral symmetry breaking induces the bulk of hadron masses, such as those for the nucleons in effect, the bulk of the mass of all visible matter. In the real world, because of the non-vanishing and differing masses of the quarks, SU L times SU R is only an approximate symmetry to begin with, and therefore the pions are not massless, but have small masses, they are pseudo-goldstone bosons. <laughs> more flavors For more light Quark species, n flavors in general, the corresponding chiral symmetries are U n L times U n R, decomposing into S U n L times S U n R times U 1 V times U 1 Display style su n underscore l times su n underscore r times u one underscore v times u one underscore a tilde, and exhibiting a very analogous chiral symmetry breaking pattern. Most usually, n equals three is taken, the u, d, and s quarks taken to be light, the eightfold way physics. So then, approximately massless for the symmetry to be meaningful to a lowest order, while the other three quarks are sufficiently heavy to barely have a residual chiral symmetry be visible for practical purposes. Equals. <laughs> Topic: An application in particle physics. Equals. In theoretical physics, the electroweak model breaks parity maximally. All its fermions are chiral whale fermions, which means that the charged weak gauge bosons only couple to left-handed quarks and leptons. Note that the neutral electroweak Z boson couples to left and right-handed fermions. Some theorists found this objectionable, and so conjectured a gut extension of the weak force which has new, high energy W and Z bosons, which now couple with right-handed quarks and leptons. S U two W times U one Y Z two Display style SU two underscore W times U one underscore Y over Math B Z underscore two two S U two L times S U two R times U one B minus L Z two Display style SU two underscore L times SU two underscore R times U one underscore B L over Math B Z underscore two here, SU 2 L pronounced SU 2 left is none other than the above SU 2 W, while B minus L is the baryon number minus the lepton number. The electric charge formula in this model is given by Q equals I 3 L plus I 3 
R plus B minus L two Display style Q equals I underscore three L plus I underscore three R plus FRAC BL two where I three L R Display style I underscore three L R are the weak isospin values of the fields in the theory. There is also the chromodynamic SU three C. The idea was to restore parity by introducing a left right symmetry. This is a group extension of Z2 the left right symmetry by S U 3 C times S U 2 L times S U 2 R times U 1 B minus L Z six Display style Sue three underscore C times Sue two underscore L times Sue two underscore R times U one underscore BL over Math B Z underscore six to the semidirect product S U three C times S U two L times S U two R times U one B minus L Z six Z two Display style su three underscore c times su two underscore l times su two underscore r times u one underscore b l over math b z underscore six r times math b z underscore two. This has two connected components where z two acts as an automorphism, which is the composition of an involutive outer automorphism of su three c with the interchange of the left and right copies of su two with the reversal of u one b minus l. It was shown by Rabindra N. Mohapatra and Goran Senyanovich in 1975 that left-right symmetry can be spontaneously broken to give a chiral low-energy theory, which is the standard model of Glashow, Weinberg and Salam and it also connects the small observed neutrino masses to the breaking of left-right symmetry via the seesaw mechanism. In this setting, the chiral quarks 3 2 1 1 3 Display style three two one underscore one over three and three one two minus one three display style bar three one two underscore one over three are unified into an irreducible representation three two one one three three one two minus one three Display style three two one underscore one over three O plus bar three one two underscore one over three The leptons are also unified into an irreducible representation one two one minus one 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 two one display style one two one underscore minus one o plus one one two underscore one. The Higgs bosons needed to implement the breaking of left-right symmetry down to the standard model R one three one two one one three two Display style one three one underscore two O plus one one three underscore two. This then predicts three sterile neutrinos, which is perfectly consistent with current neutrino oscillation data. Within the seesaw mechanism, the sterile neutrinos become super heavy without affecting physics at low energies. Because the left-right symmetry is spontaneously broken, left-right models predict domain walls. 
This left-right symmetry idea first appeared in the Patti Salam model 1974, Mohapatra Patti models 1975. See also Electroweak theory Chirality chemistry Chirality mathematics Chiral symmetry breaking Handedness Spiners and Dirac fields Sigma model Chiral model equals equals notes <laughs>